The hippie to the hip hip hop, you don't right. stop. Yeah. Rock it out, fever bubble to the boogity bang bang, the boogie to the boogity bee. My workout prior to the workout, you know, the morning before, the night before, I almost dream about the workout. And I try to always outdo my prior workout, you know. For instance, if I do uh, four sets of 500 uh, squats, the next time I'll try to do five sets of uh, uh, 500, you know. I always try to beat the last workout. And that's my goal, you know, beat the last workout, outdo the last workout, outdo the other competitor, you know. I'm just a very competitive person. I love it. for the past five years looking for a good training partner, which I've had a few here and there, you know, but they tend to burn out, you know. <laughs> I, I train very, very hard, you know, and they just don't last, you know. I've trained with Lee Haney, and I've trained with almost everybody, but you can uh, imagine. The difference between me and Lee Haney is uh, I am a lot more aggressive than him. He is a genetic freak. Whatever he does, he will grow, you know. We trained together uh, five or six times, you know, and it just didn't quite click. Uh, I wanted him to do an extra four or five reps, and he wouldn't do it, you know. And I'm that type, I'm that type of person. I need that extra four or five reps. I need somebody to yell at me. I need somebody to push me. Ah! So, don't count. Come on. Two. Three. Stretch. Four. Help me, help me. Seven. Go. Eight. Nine. To find a good training partner clicks is very, very hot. And thank God I got one this time. Luis Frides, he's from Brazil. He's a becoming bodybuilder. He placed uh, eighth or ninth in the universe this year. And he's a big kid, very symmetrical, very good looking. Uh, trains like an animal, just like me. And. Uh, and we really, uh, we have this special magic together, you know, I mean, uh, he wants it just as bad as me, and we just really click together. I'm very happy with him. Stretch, stretch. Five more. One. And two. Three. Four. Track the back, right here. Four. Come on. Five. Out. A good training partner, I tell you, what it is is, you have to have somebody that you can listen to. You know, like when they say five more reps, you can do it. Just anybody can't tell me five more reps. You know, it takes a certain type of voice, a certain type of person for me to listen to. That's why I can't just train with anybody. Okay, five more and one and two. You know, I have to see something in I have to see that he will do five more if I tell him, you know, and he is able to do it, you know. So that's one thing, the magic I feel between me and him. He wants it just as bad as me. We're both young, hungry lions. <laughs> yes. Come on. Come on, Mike. Yeah, keep squeezing. Come on. Five more, let's go. Yeah. 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 The hip, the hip, 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 Right here, 10-12 reps, reduce the bicep, tricep, shoulder, shoulders, 
like two cent fish. That's just preparation. I truly enjoy training. It's a very aggressive at atmosphere here, very competitive. And we got a lot of uh, big guys here, you know. I need that around me, strong big guys, you know. At World Gym, it's a bit different. It's a little more relaxed, you know, and it's a little smaller. I need a big gym with big guys around me. <laughs> I see a lot of the young bodybuilders today, especially in Ghost Gym, that try to lift heavy, heavy weights, you know. They see me, Charles Glass, the Barbarians, and they try to lift the same weight, and the form is nowhere near as good as ours, you know. They're just trying to get it up just to say they lifted 500-pound bench press, you know. So um, that's one thing I do when, when I train people. I do that for a living, and I, you know, I really stress form. Because what you do is if you use good form, the weights will increase. It just takes time. You start off with good form on 85-pound curl, and you go from 95 in six weeks or whatever. Same with the bench press, the incline uh, press, squats, everything. Good form, and your weight will go up. It just takes time. Because it isn't the weight. It's the form and the intensity that builds the muscle mass. When I'm on stage and when I'm posing against Rich Gaspar, Lee Haney, Albert Beckles, I'm very aggressive. I want to win, you know, I want to show the other competitors and the judges and the people in the audience that I am the best. Lee cannot get much bigger than he is now. Lee, Gaspari, Beckles, all of the top five, all of the top ten. I am the only competitor that can really put more muscle on his frame because my frame is taller and bigger than the other competitors and the tallest competitor. So what I have to do is I have to keep on putting more muscle on, which I do. Every year I put six to eight pounds of muscle on, you know, which is phenomenal. Not too many bodybuilders do do this. It's just a matter of time for me, and I think this year is the time. Watch out, Lee. Is it possible that you're underestimating some of the other people? I mean, after all, Rich Gaspari is very good. Albert, Albert Beckles, Beckles is very good. Yeah. Uh, do, don't you have to keep them in mind as well, well of as... Of course. I, you know, I don't... Lee Haney's the man to beat, no question about that. But of course, I see Albert Beckles and, and Rich Gaspari haven't beat them yet either, you know? So, uh, no, no, I'm just... All competitors are equal, you know? I just... I go for number one, you know? That's true. If you finish first, you beat everybody. That's right, exactly. <laughs> Well, listen, good luck in the Olympia. Thank you, Phil. Okay. We'll take it.